Uh, August 6, 2025, our bi-weekly cover crop check. We're just south of the Dodge County Fairgrounds on a healthy soil, healthy water grower participant. So we're in week 11 with the uh, corn being planted, and we're in week seven with a cover crop being planted. So growth stage, uh, we're in pollination. We're past that maybe a little bit. Uh, silk stage, I guess I should say, is where we're at. This is a random ear that's pulled a 16 for a round. Uh, we just don't know how well it's pollinated, uh, that the kernel's pollinated to the tip. But anyways, that's how the ear looks like. 16 for a round, just a random ear. Uh, soil temperature at 72, maybe 73 degrees this morning. Um, cooler in the ground with the shade um, than what it is for ear temperature outside. So getting into the cover crops, um, we have uh, um, flax right here, we can see that. And then we have uh, vetch, this broad leaf with the uh, other leaves that are going off of it. Uh, there's our vetch. Uh, this is either kale or rape. Um, we have the little bitty grass that, that you see here in the rows. If that's, uh, if we can see that in the video, okay, that's annual ryegrass. Um, we do have, I clipped a little bit of this lamb's quarter. This is lamb's quarters just to uh, clear out so we can actually see what we got for uh, uh, species down here. And the big tall stuff, that's uh, buckwheat. And that's been our winner for height. A bunch of this is volunteer buckwheat. So this is, uh, actually this is probably grew this year uh, or started when it was planted. But the rest of the stuff that you see when we go look down the corn row, uh, that's all gonna be uh, volunteer buckwheat. So a very strong crop of volunteer buckwheat. So anyways, I'll step to the side. You can look to see what we have as a cover crop in general. Again, we had to clear this out a little bit just so we could actually see what we have for uh, species growing here.